twelfth language is sign language. Part of this language is a rapidly evolving hand signal developed by millions of South Africans all over the country, across townships and cities. It's the language of commuters. The taxi industry has developed an elaborate sign language used to indicate the desired destinations of commuters. Susan Wolf is an accomplished artist and has used these skills in finding a way of making the minibus taxi commuter's life much easier. I've been doing art all my life and I always knew that I was going to do something with arts. And I went to art school for nine and ten and then four years fine art teaching and then did my master's degree in fine art later on. Well the taxis, I've always been interested in why people do taxi hand signs. I just thought it was fascinating. And I thought it was very imaginative of people to make signs and to find a way to get places and to invent a whole language just because there was no structure in what in the transport industry. The Taxi Sign Book is part of the, the whole taxi project that I'm doing. It's a very big project. Um, it's an arts project originally, but there are aspects of it that are commercial because I want people out there to be able to share the idea of the, the language of taxi hand signs. So I have done um, 26 hand signs for Gauteng so far. Um, I've documented them for the first time ever with the roots and nobody's ever done that before. So I've done a book which has been produced for the libraries to start off with. But the idea is that towards 2010 um, and for 2010, I would like to have hundreds of thousands of these books on the streets for people books that could be um, got hold of like through taxi drivers or through garages or just books, small books that are site specific that are easy for people to read, that are fun um, and to just up the whole idea of taxis by putting in cartoons and making it an absolutely fun book. Susan has made this guide for everyone. Literate or illiterate, young or old, rural or urban, local or international, they can now navigate to their destinations hassle-free. The book really is, is for everybody because basically a lot of people who don't know about the taxi hand signs are going to find out about them. And not everybody, even people who take taxis, they don't know all the hand signs. They, they probably know, say, four or five hand signs, each person. So everybody's very excited about the idea that um, there are other hand signs and that they won't have to ask other people around them how to get to where they're going if they can just have a book that's available. The, the art for the, the taxi signs, especially for um, the hand signs, I've also developed it for blind people. So I've got paintings and drawings that I've done which are going to be edition works. Um, I've designed sculptures for the streets, but I've also designed 11 or 12 shapes that combine to form all of the taxi hand signs for blind people. So I've been working with SABWA, which is the South African Blind Workers Association with Philip Jordan and Wellington Pike and groups of blind people and we have um, developed these shapes that can easily be read and used by blind people with a short explanation from somebody who can just simply explain to them what they are. This handbook will definitely help the commuters to get to their destination, guaranteed, with no extra stops along the way. It will also make the taxi driver's daily job much easier. Yeah, it will be helpful because uh, there are people who don't stay around here and, uh, and run back, they people from deep slot. Because sometimes they drop off here and then they'll be pointing up, thinking maybe it's going by a Norit, a Norit Depro Park Stash, not knowing which sign to use. Sometimes we ended up stopping just to ask them, where are you going, are you going to pre or Norwich? Well, I think it's novel, and I think it's something that's typically South African. With no, nobody else's, um, no other country has got something that is this unique. So although I've only done Gauteng, I hope to do the rest of South Africa, and then hopefully to, to take it further and start seeing what hand signs are used in other places. Um, I've had a look, for example, in Plettenberg Bay where um, people do hand signs in a completely different way and it's also fascinating, you know, they put a um, $10 note in their two fingers and uh, hold their hand out and the driver coming past knows then the distance that they're going to travel. So if they're going to go further, they put in a 50 um, rand note.